Welcome to Rhino Burrows. May as well block off on. Uh, there's this issue that uh, for Forever World uh, brought up, and he made some references that anime is right. Uh, like got on this topic that ASEAN speaks, and when I, what uh, that un uneducated uh, individual went through by saying, oh, anime is racist. But, but, but a lot of people go, oh, what a fucking no killer be? He African American, yo, oh, a rapping the star, yo, oh. Uh, I wouldn't call that racist. I would call that stereotyping, uh, which is a huge difference between uh, stereotyping and racism. To this day, he raps when he's frustrated, and he raps when he's a bit. Confused in that. That's just a characteristic of the of that character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna beat. I'm gonna beat you up and you know, beat you up and shut you up, type deal. But then, this is this is um, a bit of a characteristic about that about uh, Killer B from Naruto. Yo oh. And am I being racist for as as an anime fan and as a reader of uh, online manga would you consider me to be a racist for just impersonating a character from a particular genre? No of a particular show? No. It's no different than going Ah man just, just doing that drama, drama, drama. Even like the, like the saying, you know, you know big, strong, muscly fellow, blonde, you know, blonde hair and blue eyes. Uh, you can easily classify that as an American stereotype. You know, big, strong America coming down to beat the unholy hell out of us. Uh, in this, you could say that, oh, It's poking fun at the English and what the English portrays or the West. Uh, <coughs> uh, in this, it has a Middle Eastern pilot, a Japanese. An American, a Middle Eastern pilot, a, a American pilot, a Chinese pilot, and what could be two Japanese pilots just within the Gundam series. But all of them are fighting in uh, the cause in that. But then you know you got all these people. Who go, oh, if you watch one sort of anime and. You don't watch nothing, and you don't. It's like a set. I go. Oh, if you watch that, you are racist. For what? For um, watching an anime just for just because it has like a more of a British overtone. That's if you just exclusively watch things like um, Black Butler. There are others. And I'm not doing this to be, you know, 
nasty or anything like that. It's just quite a lot of um, <coughs> people have been saying that, oh, not quite a lot, but you know, a number of people have said, oh, anime is racist. Anime, if you read a certain manga or anime, you're, you're being a racist. You're You're attacking a a segment of people that you don't want to uh, that you don't like. Me, I like all sorts of people, but should it matter that there is a dark-skinned individual? Uh, hell, in the uh, uh, American uh, or one of the European and American. Uh, version of Voltron in the 80s had uh, purple people sounding Indian like uh, Crick to say from the 19 not 19 the C team and you know has like you know the little like the little um not the you know the little down the middle of the forehead I can get away with that, doing that because I am part Indian. But that. And they go, Dirty space kilometers ahead. Open fire. You know? And But then I'm just impersonating an English dubbed version of, a, of an anime. And Mr. Popo from you know from Dragon Ball, he's he's a black-skinned individual. I'm not I'm not sugarcoating it on this one. He is a black-skinned individual, and he goes, "Call me." You know, he goes, "Call me. How can I serve you?" Of all of the. Or the new uh, uh, guardian. Uh, I think you yeah, Dende. Dende, how can I serve you? Yeah, all, things are along those lines. Uh, I don't believe it is racist at all. Uh, it is just an enjoyable form of art. To be appreciate to appreciate the uh, value. <clears throat> and I, I let me just say this to those who say that also um some background the uh, characters and just throwaway characters as well. Uh, living in Australia, uh, I if there was like a like an Australian throwaway character, you know, you know, wearing the Kubra hat one side up, him wearing, you know him wearing a singlet. You know, having the Southern Crest tattooed on his arm, or anything, and having like a an Australian flag on a, on a singlet. This is not the first video you've seen me stripping. Uh, and yeah. I would have, to be honest with you, I wouldn't mind. I would find that to be hilarious to think that Japanese people would think that, or uh, the anime or manga would think that Australia is a Paul Hogan stereotypical Australian. You know, with like the corks hanging down off the Akubra hat, the singlet, maybe like a like a crocodile leather vest, 
short khakis, you know, throwing a bit of Steve Owen into the mix, wearing thongs. Uh, over here in Australia, we call them thongs, but in other places of the world, is they call flip flops, or um, a stra or a strapless sandal. And you go, oh, and you go, fair, fair shake the old sauce bottle, love. Or, you know, huh, look at you, small little, you, you know, you small little shrimp. Time to throw you on the barbie. And, whoa, good day, good day, good day. You little sexy thing, you. You know, some, or some, so, yeah, things along those lines, you know. I, to be honest with you, I wouldn't care. I will find them funny. Uh, being in being part Indian, of course, I see uh, somewhat of a Mr. Popo being more that sort of in more that sort of Indian sort, though he's all black. I see a bit of India in Piccolo and Dende and the Namics. Also in the uh, purple aliens from Voltron. Similar. It's these similar little characteristics I don't mind seeing um even with Scot Scottish pi things you know I would not mind seeing you know this like uh like seeing uh if they go in the yeah. meanwhile in in northern Great Britain you know those Scotland these skirt wearing tribesmen go into battle. And it's some guy called Scott McSky or Scott McGregor or something like that. And he has like a you know battle torn Scottish kilt. You know, big leather boots. Topless, you know, the blue war paint, the you know, long hair, long scraggly beard. And all these, you know, mar blue markings all over his body. I'll, I'll find that to be amusing. Uh, Middle Eastern as well, you know. I'll, it's just an an artist interpretation of a culture. And that's all we should more or less look at anime and manga is. It is someone's. Uh, interpretation of a culture it is someone's interpretation of uh, a ra of a particular uh, group of people and as I said and um, if, I, if I haven't said it before in this video but I'm, I might just say it again but you know killer B uh, let me see he's a black or a dark skin character he does R&B so what his older, well, his adoptive older brother. He's big. He's brawny. He's powerful. He doesn't. Ar he doesn't rap. Neither does quite. Neither does the uh, the rest of the Hidden Cloud Village. But yet they're dark skin. It's just this one character out of the entire universe of characters, who is a bit of a stereotype. And you know what? I love Killer B. Yeah, oh, hey, yeah, hey. You fool, you fool. Yeah, something along those lines, you know. I, I honestly would say to anyone who wants to push this, saying, "Oh, anime is racist." Oh, uh To be fair to the African American people, let's not watch. Certain uh, uh, Naruto uh, Shippuden episode episode number this 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 and this um And you know, it's just so. Or, let us not offend some African American people by not by not watching Dragon Ball Z episode. 
episode, uh, episode, this number, that number, some other number. Um, also, they got into the got into this whole taboo thing with Jinx from Pokemon. Come on, give me a break. Firstly, it's based off a makeup that Japanese people do. Big white, they put you know a lot of white around the eyes, uh, accentuate the lips a bit more, just for a fashion sense. And that fashion sense went into the po that particular Pokemon. And why, why should you care if the predominantly dark, dark fur or dark skinned uh, po? Let's just say it. Black skinned Pokemon and to have that Pokemon looking after Brock. That should not that uh, that episode should not have been banned because of what. It's just so stupid. It's just to have that and even with Brock, you know. You know, very squint, like very squinty eye, slit. You know, just a single slit for for um of, of eye as well. Uh, I consider that to be the like a charm of Brock. Even when they do, even when uh, in manga and anime, uh, they do on old like old people they do like the whole slit of the eye and they hey, yes, honey, what are you what are you what, 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 yeah, yeah. Well, what are you yeah, what are you after what do you seek uh what do you have to feel like you're an old uh, woman uh for the older for old for the the old wise man you know Clean, clean, bold shape, clean shaven head. Maybe like a long uh, beard. Sitting on a rock, or in like some sort of beautiful temple structure. Legs crossed, going with like a with like a staff, going. Oh yes, what do you seek, dear warrior? Or something along those lines. Or what do you? What is it that you ask of me? And just of recently, I've just watched um, an episode of Pokemon, uh, not Pokemon, um, uh, Naruto Shippuden, episode 312. Uh, yeah, two, 312. And, that, uh, and it had like, that sort of character. And let me just say, if I have offended people, I do apologize. But you know, like, like you know, big bright-eyed um, characters in in anime, like uh, this and and like in Naruto and other things as well. Um, CL fan time from Black Butler, of course. And uh, th let me just say this in closing. I just I was hoping to keep this under twenty minutes, but it looks like it's a bit over. Uh, I'll just try to keep it under twenty five minutes. Let's get, let's do it like that. Um, yeah. Uh, just in finalized closing, if you feel that anime is racist or a certain show is racist. Or even if it's like a couple of episodes make the show racist, well then I just say this to you: don't watch it. Don't watch any anime whatsoever. And if you like uh, the Lion Force Voltron from the 80s, then you slam some 
other anime for being racist, so I said this to you, don't watch Voltron. They'll save everything, you know, they'll save all the problems that you have with anime. Oh, you can't, in Even with this. And yeah, just things like that, you know. Brown skin. Have a little, have a little symbol on the middle there. Oh, that pretty pretty Indian people is bad. Ooh. Yeah. My first true obscenity or well, questionable language in these videos. If you are afraid of the art form, don't don't partake in the art form. Stick with the Nickelodeon Nick Junior uh Disney Channel, Disney Junior, even this new, new age, uh, adventure time, pieces of crap, that all this equality stuff, it's just so stupid, and to be honest with you, We don't need this sort of negativity in anime or in manga. Just enjoy it. It is an art form. As I, as I keep on saying in this video, it is an art form. 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 And shut up and enjoy it. There's nothing racist in anime or in manga it's just an art form it is just a depiction of a certain group of people and that's it so what if there's a few stereotypes I don't care if I see like a boomerang thrown Australian or a gun toting American even a polar bear riding Canadian. Even like a sleeping Mexican, for, for Pete's sake, you know? Just enjoy it. Enjoy what these, what these guys have created. Don't alter them. Do not have any westernized uh, bullshit with them and yes there's another questionable tonage in this video in this season series of videos and just in this last this finale of the finales enjoy simply enjoy peace